know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when, like I said again, yeah. when he dropped Dark Twisted Fantasy on that wide level and Kanye was who he was, that's what made it like okay for the industry to be like, okay, we can accept you being what you are. Dang. Like, you might be right. Because I was just, who was on um, the last interview, he was talking about Pharrell when he dropped his album and everything. Yeah. Um, and his shit was really fucking weird back, back then. But I was but like, he was already weird, but, weird, but he, he came out in the wrong time. Yeah, because he was, like, he, again, he was because he was a producer still. Yeah. Like, so he didn't have that, like. Yeah, he didn't have that, that artistry. Yeah, he had, like, because they knew he did. I don't even think people really knew they did, uh, he did the beats. Uh, uh, wow, hold on. I don't know. Um, I don't know if he, people really knew he did the beats for a clip. Uh, the eclipses. Yeah, eclipses. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, they don't know that. All they know is because uh, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 like, that's what the younger people know. Yeah. No. 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 The hottest yeah. rapper out, like, yeah. cause that was uh, that was after graduation. Yeah, and I feel like yeah. that was his last great song. I, I'm I'm really critiquing Kanye because like when you came out, bro, like I feel like you came out was different. He's running, yeah, yeah. Was different. like, and then like once you got the money and you got with the Kardashians, the Kardashian curse happened, and you start being it's this dead. fucking weirdo and start doing all this extra shit. Yeah, like, but like if Pharrell would have came out. Any time around now, right, right, he'll right. probably be one of the hottest artists out. Most definitely, most like, definitely. Just because of his the way his beats are, the way he sets his songs up, and all that stuff like that, he has that, a unique mind. That also. nigga was making music for this era. Yeah, already, already he was already like, been ahead of the curve, bro. He was like, so far ahead; it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, that make no sense. Because uh, I only knew a couple people that was like actually out here like sporting vapes and ice yeah. creams and all that stuff like that. Even that shit was low key. Like it, it didn't start getting big until like I want to say like now. Cause now, they yeah, that shit. yeah, now like, like it was it was like, a little bit like around 2010. Like when 2010 yeah. hit, that's when niggas was like, oh, I'm trying to work get vape and ice cream. Because niggas was going from you got to think about when when rappers was gangster rappers, yeah. everybody was in all black. Black forces, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, everybody rocking all black, you know, it's a gangster party. Yeah. And like now it's like I can wear this fluorescent shirt with these loud shoes and like the, it's gonna it's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like whereas back then you wore that shit to a party, everybody gonna be looking at you like Either they the capping on your ass or beating they beating your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Like and subscribe below. Appreciate y'all.